Oh, we're up and running. Hello, welcome to another video diary. Um, Silver Ho, by the way. Hilarious. Um, so, I've not done one for a while. What's been happening? It's been going well. My flying technique improved and I fly people as soon as they walk out of Starbucks when they've got their name on their cups. And you say, hey, oh, Tracy. Oh, how's you doing my name? It's brilliant. It's, it's, I could get myself banned, to be fair. I do have to be careful. Remember, it was a while ago in Cafe Nero, I realised the difference between people watching and person watching. They don't like the second one. Um, so it's been going well. I fly it hard, I got people in. And we do a collection at the end of the show, and the money take was more than I expected, so I reinvested it, I bought some adverts, which got more people in, which meant the money take was good. So I hired another flyer, so there's two of us out there doing it. And it's, it's not guaranteed laughs, don't get me wrong. There's been three of the shows, out of the whole run, but three of the shows that were just so flat and dead, and like, oh, great, cheers, I'm glad I drove all the way up. Um, so someone said, do I think that's been a successful Edinburgh for me? And I think I do. Um, I'm just too aware of, of comparisons. It's been a success because I've learned some good things, I've had some fun, I've stood on stage selling jokes. Uh, but, and also, well, the reviews, I had one review that was lovely, but they didn't give a great number of stars, so I can't really use it. But my luckiest thing was being in the independence list of top 100 jokes. I'm not in the top half, don't get me wrong, but uh, number 66. And the joke, I'll tell you the joke, I don't care. It's, um, I knew the UK would, be good, uh, would do well in the Olympics, because thanks to last year's riots, most of our young folk had sportswear. So, you know, I'm highbrow. Um, and someone, I told someone about this, and they said, oh, right, who got number 65? Who beat you? And I said, oh, I don't know, actually. I only looked at 67 to see who I'd beat. And that's kind of like the modern-day version of glass half full, glass half empty. Because if I compare myself to people more successful than me at this Edinburgh, you know, I, on the ladder of success, I'm right down the bottom. My bottom is in the face of the guy holding the ladder of success for stability. But if you view it the other way, at least I'm not the guy at the bottom of the ladder holding it with some bald dude's bum in my face. So I think there's a lesson in there somehow. I don't know what it is because I'm really tired. Uh, I'll do another one of these on my last day. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching them. Uh, if you want to find out more, it's ed.sumnews.co.uk.